All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. <clears throat> Today, we're going to be diving deep into the world of printing with ASA. And this really could be that filament that takes your printing to the next level. So hopefully today's video will help you with it. In last week's video, we talked about a ABS. And as some of you might know, or some of you might not know, ASA is very, very similar to ABS, but it does have some qualities that might make you pick it for your project over something like ABS. So if you've been wondering how bad ASA smells compared to ABS, if you've been wondering what the differences between ABS and ASA are, and if you've been wondering if you can do a multi-material print with ASA and ABS, then today's video is perfect for you. So if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. All right, so first things first, what is ASA? ASA stands for acrylonitrile sterine acrylate, which is a mouthful for sure, but not as bad as ABS. And it's a thermoplastic that's often compared to ABS because they share many similar, char similar characteristics. However, as ASA has a critical advantage. It's especially resistant to UV light, weather and temperature changes, making it a perfect for outdoor applications. So if your print is needed outdoors or it needs to withstand weathering or UV light or any of those type of things, then ASA is really gonna be the choice that you need for that printing project. So now you may be wondering what ASA is good for printing. And as I mentioned earlier, it's weather resistance makes it excellent for outdoor projects. Anything from garden de decorations, outdoor fixtures, automotive parts, drone components, to objects that need to withstand high temperatures like parts for a barbecue or a heat lamp. So, now that we know a little bit about what ASA filament is, what kind of things that we can print with it, it's similarities to ABS, right? So if you have something that, it, you know, ABS is a good filament for, for its heat resistance, its high durability or anything like that, but it needs to be outdoors, then ASA is the perfect filament for that. You know, and one example with that would be like a junction box for, you know, one of your cameras that's outside. And, you know, something from Rawlingson Design here um, is the perfect thing that you would print out of ASA because it's durable as well as it will stand up to the weathering and UV light better than other materials that you may have. So now that we know all of these things, Let's go over all of the steps to print with ASA. All right, so since we've printed with ABS before, ASA has the same printing tips that we did for ABS. So we need to be in a well-ventilated area. We need to keep a consistent temperature so it doesn't warp. We need a heated uh, hotbed as well as an enclosure. So as long as we have those things, we'll be just fine printing with ASA. So now let's get the filament prepared and we've done this several times before. So we'll first start out by uh, selecting ABS or ASA from the dropdown, selecting ADC for eight hours. We'll dry the filament, we'll take it out and then we'll load it in the AMS. All right, so let's go to our filament wiki here and make sure that we have everything selected for ASA. And again, you'll see that ABS and ASA are identical in all of the settings here for the glue. And for the recommended plate, we'll be using the high temperature plate for this one. 
Um, and again, we want to keep everything enclosed to keep the consistent temperature. And then the drying is for ADC for eight hours, just like the ABS. So well, we have all of that ready to go. So let's go to the slicer. Right, and here's the three things that we'll be printing today. So this is the outdoor junction box uh, for a camera, but this could be used for different things. And it's just, uh, you know, a good use for outdoors since it's weather resistant and UV resistant. The second thing that we'll be printing is the uh, filament sample. So as you can see, this looks a lot like the one that's on bamboo. And then lastly, since these print at the same temperature, let's go ahead and do a multi-material print here. And the easiest way to do that is to go into here. So we'll go ahead and select all of the different pieces here. And for these, we want to use the ABS as well as the ASA. So here we'll go with five, here we'll go with six, here we'll go back with five and here we'll go back with six. That way we have the gray as the bearing or the ASA as the bearing. And then we'll have ABS as the little planetary gears that are inside of here. So we'll go ahead and print each one of these plates and then I'll see you when they get done. All right, and as you can see, printing with ASA is very similar to printing with ABS, and it just has the added benefit of having that weather resistance and that UV protection. So let's go over the prints that we did today. All right, so the first one here is from Rawlingson Design, and as we can see, it's a nice little junction box here, and it turned out very well. And this is something that I can use outdoors and it's going to be weather resistant and everything like that. It's not going to be weatherproof. There's no seal or anything in there, but it will be rather weather resistant. So the second thing that we printed was the filament sample, the one that looks like the bamboo one. And as you can see, that turned out really cool as well. And I'll start doing this with all the filaments because I think this turned out really, really cool. And last but not least is this little planetary gear system. And as you can see, it spins really, really good. And it's made with ABS and ASA. And since they print at similar temperatures, you're able to print both of them at the same time. So if you ever have a project that needs the different colors of ABS or ASA or the different properties of it, since they do print at the same temperature, you can print them at the same time. Now, I'm not sure that is okay for every application and for every one that you do, but at least for this little spinner right here, it did work. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was really, really fun uh, printing with ASA. And again, very, very similar to ABS. Didn't have a big smell. Again, I have the window right over here be sure that you're in a well-ventilated area. I would say that it smelled relatively the same as the ABS, which was very, very minimal. Um, so don't be afraid of printing with ABS or with ASA. And um, I hope this video helps you to decide which filament to use on that next big project. So I appreciate everybody's time. Thank you so much. Thank you for everybody uh, that hits that like button. Thank you for all my subscribers and all of my patrons. And I'll see everybody next week. Thank you.